Hey everybody, Cyberspace Paladin here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. When we last left off, we were about to take on the boss of Vegetable Valley. And now, we're gonna do that here, and move on to the next world. I wanted to take care of a few things first. Now, the first order of business... That's right, no abilities for the boss battles, except where required. Oh, spoilers. And second, I want to talk about a couple of things here. These two doors, specifically. This first door, we're going to find out about that later on. Just a little bit of foreshadowing for all of you. And second, notice that this boss door, it has King Dedede's picture above it. But doesn't he kind of look like a frog here? Maybe it's just me, but I always thought that he looked like a frog here. And... You know, since I didn't know he was supposed to be a penguin, I didn't really question it. Like, it was not until after I beat the game that I realized he was supposed to be a bird and not a frog. And even then, I didn't know he was supposed to be a penguin. But yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Alright. The first boss should be familiar to anyone who played, well, just about any Kirby game. Wispy Woods. Gotta get used to this controller again. I'm using the NES Joy-Cons for those who uh, are curious. Yeah. Getting right up next to Wispy is always a good tactic. But... Except when you do that. But, nevertheless, we've beaten Wispy Woods and collected the first piece of the Star Rod. And now, a legendary moment is sort of... The Kirby Dance! And now for the next world. Ice Cream Island. Let me tell you, I could... Oh! Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Kirby. Anyway, I could use an actual Ice Cream Island at this point, because the weather has been getting increasingly hot where I live, and a tropical island just seems about perfect. Right, and I just love the way they make use of the tiles in this game to produce all kinds of great-looking environments. And, oh, yeah, coconuts are not supposed to explode. They must have been, I don't know, crossbreeding with nitroglycerin or something here. But I can figure out the semantics of exploding coconuts later. And right now, we have a new, uh, we got a new little ability here. Parasol! Yeah, Waddle Dew there didn't give us the beam ability because he was holding this little umbrella. And now... I can just beat up on enemies with... with an umbrella... Parasol, sorry. And just float down. Oh! Ugh. You took my umbrella! I did it again. I guess now I can go get that uh, soda that I missed. I was trying to not use it because I didn't need it. And now... Oh, one thing I should probably show. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! <laughs> I would have done the voice louder, but it's late at night as I'm recording this. I don't want to cause too much noise. Oh. Okay, as you probably saw in that split second, you're able to use the parasol to block attacks from above, if you get it just right. You see this little fella here? Well, uh, I was a little surprised to find out originally that you can't inhale him. He turns into a creepy cyclops and chases you. Scarfy's his name, for those who don't know. But... When I originally saw the sprite, I thought those were actually just two glowing eyes instead of a single Cyclopean one. Cyclopean. Is that is that the correct word? Ah, it, ow! Oh, wait. Oh. I tried to inhale the bomb enemy, but instead I just... Okay, I'm down to my last hit point. Yeah, I am way off at this moment. Oh, but... I got the tornado ability. 
So yeah, you gotta watch out for the parasols and... <sighs> and there's the first death of this LP. Oh well, I got plenty of lives left. Now, as I was saying, you gotta watch out for the parasols in this game because they do have a tendency to attack Kirby if they're freed. They'll just home in on him. Tornado ability is pretty cool, though, because you can, uh... Oh. Well, I think you can actually control what direction you go in, like, by pressing up. I'm not entirely sure. I've never quite gotten the hang of it. And here is our second minigame. Eh, actually, notice the little, uh, little check in there is kind of almost dancing in tune with the background music here. But anyway, let's go in. Egg catcher. Press the buttons to make Kirby's mouth open. Try to eat eggs, but not bombs. I was never good at this one when I was a kid, but let me see if I can, uh, let's see if I can do this just right. Uh, I've never been able to get a perfect at this particular one. Oh! I've never been able to get a perfect at this one without using save states or anything. Uh, but I was really hoping I could show off the, the results if you won. Oh well. Maybe next world. Or maybe it was the one after that. Anyway. Now for level two of Ice Cream Island. I don't know how many levels we're going to be able to get. Oh. I always like that little climbing enemy. Uh, too bad we don't really see him anymore in Kirby games. I'm not sure why, though. But anyway, I'll try to... I don't know how many levels I'm going to be able to do in this particular video, but... Oh, Eagle Ability. But I'll try to get just a few. Oh, I remember this bit. Oh, I, I love the way the waves are here. And this little rock floor here. But now... We're going to jump on the Warp Star and head off into the desert. And now, we're going to take on a new boss. A well, new mini-boss, rather. We saw Mr. Frosty in the last one. I think another one in Vegetable Valley, but I'm not sure. But here we have Grand Wheelie. What happened to regular Wheelie? Well, there's one. All right. We're going to kick Grand Wheelie's butt right in front of these uh, conveniently placed cacti and palm trees. There. Well, I'm not sure what's so convenient about them other than that. They make for great scenery, but... Anyway, you got to excuse me if my uh, commentary and, and gameplay are a bit off here, because I am way out of practice. All right, you've got the wheel ability, and now... You just get to run over everything. <laughs> and I just realized the spark ability there, it didn't affect us there. Sorry, being a little redundant with my words now. Oh yeah, and Kirby can just steer around, run over things. Can't jump, but uh Ha! <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Basically running a demolition derby here. We've got more shark decons than we have photon charges! And let's run a demolition derby! Thumbs up to anyone who gets the reference, and I got a one-up. Without even trying. Nice. Alright, there's the crane game again. Let's see if I can't uh, get a few more. Oh, there's a small Kirby right in front of here. Sorry, big Kirby, I'm taking your son. Actually, now I just feel a little bad. But I'm more than a little bad here. Uh, Okay, that was... I guess I had that coming for that joke. <laughs> uh, see if I can't get it here, and... Nope. Nope. Oh! I, I did get that one up, after all. Alright, now for level three. I think this might be the last one of this particular video. Uh, I'm hoping I can uh, start doing some longer videos soon, but until then, uh, I'm just trying to 
get some stuff on on this uh, channel. Yeah, I like the little uh, detail there, like the sort of broken rock wall. I don't know how they pull that off, but oh, we're in this level. Okay, I always like this little underground cavern, even though it was a pain to navigate. Let's see if I can't. Uh, Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that extra life there. Oh, well. Well, I think there was an extra life there, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, and here we go. I just love how bright and sunny the levels here are. Oh, this one's holding in, and there we go. I just noticed that sun in the background. That, that looks so good. Oh, nope. Got him. If I'd kept the sword ability, I would have been able to get the one-up that was in the water there. Oh, well. Alright. I should have plenty of time to at least comment on the mini-boss here. This won't be a traditional mini-boss. That was our good friend Meta Knight, who just sicked his uh, band of soldiers on us. Oh, alright. So here we got Axe Knight, who uh, flings his axes at us like boomerangs, it is discernible by his skull mask. Uh, Mace Knight, who's got two different attack patterns, as you've seen. Uh, and my favorite one. Okay, there's one more after this, but, uh, my favorite one is the guy in the upper left. Oh. He was also there, too, but then I got him. Yeah. This guy right here, Lance Knight? Or, or maybe it was Trident Knight. Now, that's actually supposed to be a crescent moon shape on his, uh, forehead. You know, like, it's like a little helmet crest. Like, right above his visor. But, I used to think that the, uh, Crescent Moon symbol was actually a visor. Ow! Must have been a really hot trident if it burned Kirby. And I thought that the visor, like his actual visor, was supposed to be a mouth. So I just saw like him as a really angry looking guy with sunglasses. <laughs> anyway, we're uh, at the end of the... Oh! I almost lost Kirby down the bottomless pit there. But yeah, that was our first glimpse at Meta Knight. We're going to be seeing more of him throughout this game. Right? And... Push A! Uh, close but no cigar. Not that I would want one since I don't smoke. I never intend to. And, oh! Here's another museum. We get two abilities here. Fire. And... Laser! The sun is a deadly laser. Okay, that's enough of that. Anyway, uh... You know, next episode I think I might, uh... Show some of the flavor text for the abilities we've already done. Um... Uh, you know... L let me know if you'd like to see some of that. You know, because I realize I haven't done those yet, and I probably should since... There's some fun little descriptions. Of course, uh, I'm gonna wait until I, uh, until the next video to do that, because one, we're almost out of time, and two, I'm probably gonna be doing longer videos by then. Anyway, um, yeah, we did a boss and three other levels, three regular ones, so, yeah, I think this is a good place to stop. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Sorry that this one wasn't quite as good. Well, you guys seem to like the last one, and even though I didn't really feel like I was at my best here, I hope you enjoyed this episode, too. Uh, I'm hoping that next time I'll be, you know, back to business as usual, and I'll be able to do better here. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye!